Thank you very much, Judge Terry. Lovely color, isn't it? Well, sir, have we demonstrated to you that we can provide one or two little items that won't insult a European palate? The dinner was superb. The simple miner of my native Wales manages somehow to subsist in a slightly less uh, ornate manner, I must confess. <laughs> but then your mind yields silver. Ours merely coal. And that silver, sir, is most important. If we block statehood, and I think we can, there'll be no silver for Mr. Lincoln's war chest. I gather you're referring to your civil war. Yours as well as ours. Well, I wonder how in the world you arrive at that conclusion. You know how I arrive at it. You people are praying for a southern victory. Your cotton industry has got to have a southern victory in order to survive. That's common knowledge. Well, I must confess it wasn't common knowledge to me. But then I know absolutely nothing about politics. I'm prepared to accept your incognito, sir. My incognito? Your disguise. Oh, I know what the word means. But what, may I ask, am I supposed to be disguising? Mr. Craigs, now, don't make me spell out every sentence like I paid from McGuffey's reader. We were promised an agent to work with us. For the last six months, we've been expecting that agent to make his appearance. An agent here in Virginia City? You think I'm he? Well, aren't you? Good heavens, no. I'm an actor, sir. A strolling bear. A mummer. Don't toy with me, sir. We're bleeding to death, fighting for our lives. The silver under our feet can stop that bleeding, but we need help. If I were this man you're talking about, how do you suppose the people this so-called agent represents can help you? Invest in our future. Invest in the only thing that can stop this war with victory to our cause. The South is impoverished, crippled, desperate. But we will win, sir. We must win. But we need money for men. We need money for arms and ammunition. With money, we can block statehood. With the help that you people give us, we could keep this great silver treasure of the Comstock load from falling into the hands of the enemy. Mr. Terry, Mr. Cartwright. How are you, sir? This rumor, Joseph, is it true your father won't join Stuart's delegation? Yes, that's right, sir. He's against statehood at this time. Well, sir, you heard, didn't you? No two-thirds majority, no statehood. I'm only an actor, Judge Terry, nothing more. That reminds me, I must get back to the hall. Thank you for an excellent dinner. I'm sorry I have to run like this. Mr. Terry, Mr. Cartwright. What's Mr. Craig's Muir's interest in our problems, Father? All in good time, my dear. Peter? Yes, sir? There's the door. I've been waiting for you. You're going to be late for your performance. There are more important things in a performance. I have a task for you, a very important one. Yes? You're going to San Francisco. San Francisco, Mr. Craigsmuir? That's right. And when? Now. Immediately. At once. But the curtain goes up in ten minutes. Blast the curtain, boy. I told you this was important. You know where to take us. The same place. Are you sure you won't need me? Oh, I was able to dress myself before we met. I think I still remember how. I'm depending on you, Peter. I'll remember, sir. Good luck to you. And don't forget. It's vitally important. I understand. Oh, and you remember. Curtain in ten minutes. <laughs> 